hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and happy 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 uh, thursday night or morning or evening or afternoon whenever y'all are looking at this video we're going to be talking about father time again simon g is what they call him okay that's portia's fiance glorified boyfriend um her companion all right, he's always trying to live that Hollywood life, you know, the glamorous, glamorous, glamorous life, you know. Uh, yeah, he is definitely still making a fool out of himself and posting like he's a teenager on his social media accounts. And uh, most men, I'm telling you, most men that got money, you ain't going to know nothing about them okay but just write-ups that other people or magazines have wrote up about them but they're not gonna show you the ins and outs of what they've accumulated because of their wealth because you know we got the IRS out there sometimes people don't want to pay taxes and, and you just showcasing everything that you got and you not pay them taxes then they're gonna show you this footage back to you to say okay but where's this where's that uh where this where's that where are those and you're gonna be looking like somebody slapped the shit out of you because you're gonna be shocked that they have that much footage on you on your tangible assets that they can definitely liquidate if you get into some uh back taxes issues okay can i prove it yes i can let's roll the footage if we must Porsche, I don't know. I tell you, uh, you said it on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, or no, I think it was uh, Porsche Family Values, that he don't know how to post stuff, and he don't know how what he posts makes you look like, because they're not going to check for him. They're going to come for her and want answers. Yes, yeah, Simon is over there flossing his car lot. Okay? I don't know if Father Time is trying to be an Uber driver, or he wants to be a driver for some serious moguls that may come into town. But I thought he was a billionaire. So I'm, I'm kind of confused, okay? We can look at it two ways. He's just building his collection of cars because he has a child like mine here in Atlanta. Because those who have, they don't have to express it. They don't have to show it, okay? You'll just see them cruising in it. If you can get past those security guards and black tent. But Father Time is over here showing and proving in Atlanta how he has amassed his wealth. Now, we all know when cars drive off the lot, they depreciate. So, I'm kind of confused on what Simon is trying to show us. I mean, is he idolizing himself and his wealth? And what he has attained in the short time he's been here on this earth. Or I should say long time. But you know. Compared to how they used to live in the Bible days. A uh, hundred years is not nothing to what they used to be living in. Thousands of years. You know what I'm saying? Nine hundred and some years old. Nine hundred and forty three years old. You know. And we barely get to a hundred uh, years old. But you know those who get that. Um that stage in our life that pinnacle period kudos kudos but yes simon is flossing his rolls royce black one right there uh he's showing us some more cars he has in the storage uh garage that he's pulling out or just i don't know collecting them uh because he can't drive all of them at one time just like a lot of a few millionaires go have homes in each state or several states or across the country um if you amass that type of cause then your house should match it you see what i'm saying he should practically be living in a mega mega mansion you know what i'm saying something like beyonce don't live in i'm sure y'all saw it here and there oprah winfrey you know but he just has this fanatic he's a fanatic about these cars and uh Porsche I don't know if you want a man like that girl because he's just putting too much in the automobile industry and he's just showcasing 
I mean, when do y'all really have all the kids all together to be using the Mercedes bus or van or the uh, Suburban over there? I mean, you don't need no drivers no more. Do you have your own driver? Is Simon going to put on his little cap and his little uh, sport coat and chauffeur you around? I mean, let us just know because I'm kind of confused, okay? But I'm saying well done. Well done if you want to show us all... Uh, you have a mass with your uh, million dollar, billion dollar fortune and you're putting everything in tangible assets where they depreciate. Uh, go ahead. Well done, Simon. Well done. Okay, but I'm like, girl, now I need to see something beautiful like that. You just got everything black or tan. I'm like, what's up with that? And then you need a woman that can floss. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't Porsche. Okay, so it seems like... You're still on the losing end of the stick, Simon and Portia and uh, Valentina, whether she keep the man she got now or she just be out there doing and hustling herself. At least she could say, thank you, Simon, for gifting me my cars. Okay, because I did take two or three with me when I left uh, and I could sell them at ease because I'm not a car collector like you are. And I'm like, Aunt Bertha, you're quite right. He's doing too much. He's doing too much, as is, as always. When Porsche's not around, he does shit like this. And right now, he's trending. Uh, he's in the news right now. <laughs> he, well, he's on YouTube and uh, what do you call it? Uh, his Instagram account. And he's just having a field day. He's just being messy over there. Like, okay, how much are you going to show us of your tangible assets? Uh, to just show us that you're living well, you're doing well, and we should aspire to be like you and have all this tangible shit that you can die tomorrow and somebody else going to be enjoying. I'm just saying, you know, you can't take it with you. You ain't born with it. Show sure damn ain't going to leave you with it. But you are amassing a three car garage with two cars in each one of them. So that's six. And then you got the three that you're showing on the outside. That's nine. So, okay. Uh, you might well just start a car lot. Uh, for the people, the affluent people, the elites. Uh, or you can rent the cars out, I guess. Um, I mean, I, where is he going with this Porsche? That's why we need you to be with Father Time. Because he has too much time on him, his hands. And he does shit like this. And then I have to come around and I have to put it out there. Like, what are you doing with this man? What are you doing with this man? I mean, we're going to talk about high rollers, you know, in the industry. We can talk about Denzel Washington. Do Denzel put his shit out here like that? Hell, yeah, do the President of the United States floss his Air Force One plane like Simon flosses, okay? And we know he ain't on that level of presidency. Or hell, even Denzel Washington, okay? That was just one I wanted to use. We can go and say Rick Ross. Rick Ross does floss his cars, but... He's an entertainer. Uh, and he shouldn't be flossing too much either because he might not pay taxes either. And they're going to come and take every last one of them uh, that they saw in featured posts. Because, you know, you, when you do shit like that, you post stuff out. It never goes away. And somebody's always there looking and, and tagging and looking and tagging and knowing what you have. So you can't even lie to them and say, oh, I don't have that no more. Or, no, I never had that. Because they're going to say, roll the footage. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you get through seeing all the stuff that you know you had posted out there but you thought you were just posting it just for naysayers or you just trying to have people look at you like you got it going on you doing this you doing that you flossing i'm like man you are not like davido okay davido over in is it lagos lagos um, Nigeria or is he from another part of Africa I'm really not sure but he don't even floss that much okay but you just trying to outdo everyone and have everybody looking at you looking at you wanting to be you I don't think nobody want to be you Simon I really don't think so and um, in Atlanta we have some heavy hitters even Tyler Perry uh, it's worth more than you, I'm sure. Steve Harvey. All these people reside in Atlanta, too. And they don't do all the flossing that you are doing. So, I can beg to differ why you probably haven't got among the who's who in Atlanta. Because they see what you do. 
they see how you spend your time and they don't want to be bothered with that okay because you're showing all this flossy materialistic type idol worshiping stuff okay which you know is a no-no if you are a true christian um yeah they don't like people that floss they want to be incognito they want their bank account and the places they're allowed to be in meaning you have to have membership in a certain a uh, certain degree of uh, passwords and passages and um, cards to get into the underground stuff that they're used to dealing with but with you doing all of this you cause too much attention to yourself you bring too much attention to yourself and they need conspicuous people they need people that's on the download they want to be shown this is who they are but they may be somebody else you know in another set and another environment another scene but you wouldn't be one that they would pick because you tell everything and you show everything and you want to be accepted and the people that have money that's not their mindset uh it's just like you're going into a store a luxurious store and you're asking the price instead of just enjoying what you're seeing and just say i want that 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 and you pull out your black gold card or you may have an account with them and it's paid about time you get home because you, you'll be paying the bill as you're riding back home you see what i'm saying and it's not necessarily because they know you good they might give you a, a few weeks or whatever but you know when you know you got it like that you don't come out with your credit cards. You don't go to the desk and, and, and sit up like other patrons. Wait for them to ring your stuff up. No, 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 no. That's not how it's done. You just go in there in these luxurious shops. And they give you wine, crackers, cheese. And you just say what you want. I mean, you be having your own personal shop or following you around. You know, or not. Depending on how you peep game and you go say this that and the third and then you just leave the store and then they reopen the store for the rest of the common folks you see what i'm saying that's living you know what i'm saying where you're not showing everybody what you do but those in their circle or the who's who they know who you are okay you can just call them up on the phone you know whatever or send them a text and then they shit shit down for you and see that's the kind of lifestyle that i believe portia wants to be affiliated with but this shit you got going on doing this on your social media trying to keep us abreast of what you have when you have it and you know be encrypted with it when people ask what you do you don't tell them so you know we think it's illegal activity i'm just saying i'm just giving you my uh, perspective you know, when you can't show a business or an organization or a place where you go in and you have employees and they're doing their darn thing and you have an office and you have, uh, what do you call it, letterheads and stuff of that with your company name on it. And you know what I'm saying? You have uh, quarterly meetings, you know, things of that nature that na naturally happens when you are the cream of the crop you know what i'm saying you don't go to uh regular meetings you know what i'm saying you be on a executive type meetings and you'd be sitting around this big boardroom with a lot of other influential people but see that's that's not your look your inf influential side just comes on social media and you post everything and that's what we get to see but as we see you haven't arrived yet because you're not seen with none of the who's who's in atlanta okay none of the who's who's you had to go to uh lagos nigeria to try to floss with the Lido, who's already established you know he's a musical artist over there rapper entertainer whatever you know he's he's already uh been born he has heritage he's legendary over there and then you try to floss with him but i don't see anything on his timeline anymore uh, regarding you or Porsche, okay? So he just wiped y'all off the face of his Instagram account. And that may say something that says a lot to me that you ain't worth your grand style even over there. So it says what it is, Simon. You would be who you are, I would be who I am, and the world would be who they are. And um, that's just pretty much it. That's all I got for this video, guys. Like, love, gotta have more. And you know, I'll be coming back with more.
because Portia is doing, you know, she's not doing her due diligence. She's not doing her job. She's not watching Simon and his posts. But then again, he said he don't give a shit about social media. He don't give a fuck. You know, he calls himself a bastard, a motherfucker. You know, he's just like that. He he flows like that. So that's why some people call him Dirty Simon. I call him Father Time, but it's still in a negative slot. But we'll see y'all next video. And don't forget to go over to my new channel. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And share my videos. And like my videos. I did a, a good video over there. About ASAP Rocky and Rihanna possibly, allegedly breaking up. Y'all really need to go check it out. My channel is Make It Make Sense. Okay. And the sense is spelled C-E-N-T-Z. And you have a little uh, chocolate avatar looking older woman such as myself as my um uh, what do you call it my staple of who i am in the channel so make sure y'all go over there and show me love over there like y'all show me love over here okay and you know it just is what it is right <laughs> it just is what it is and i'll see y'all next video be breezy bye bye